Welcome my guys back, my name is Enki from DigiSlots and today we have the first place deck profile from the originals in Europe. Yes, I'm very hyped to can do this before the list drops out, so thank you very much for the winner that he can make the video with me and agree to that. I'm really happy and glad that we did it. But first, right, left, hit about the thumbs up button for more awesome content and subscribe for free to hit another huge amount of subscribers. We're doing a giveaway again. I have the Demon Sleeves fest up for you one time and free booster from the bt9 left so i give them away to you guys because you support me a lot of time subscribe like and comment the video um with your favorite color to enter the giveaway i close it up after the next video if we hit the 1150 subscribers and um, i close it up if we don't hit it then i do it in the next video again um but to let you know you want to see what is he playing then we go into the deck profile Okay guys, we're here now to see which one for you won the six boosters from BT9. I wish you best of luck. Let's see who wins. It is... Shoxy Panda. Uh, congrats brother to uh, win the six booster packs. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below where you I can you write and where your address is. Uh, good luck on the next uh, giveaway, guys. We make it at uh, 100, 1150 for the new Jazz Monster deck. So subscribe and to your friends and enjoy the video. We are now here with the winner from the original Shadow Within. Eduardo is here to show us his deck list. Thank you for coming, brother. And you can tell me about your matchups what you're having on the tournament. Hello, sir. Uh, thank you for asking me to do the deck profile. And yeah, I can tell you everything about the matchups because I actually remember, oddly enough, all of them except one, mm -hmm. which I, I think it was in round four. But okay, uh, round one, I was paired up against uh, Black War Greymon, Gaiomon, basically. And the matchup is not the easiest, I feel like, because Gaiomon as a really nice way to kill Oryuken, where he the the digivolves twice. Like if he goes into uh, Black Red Metal Greymon, the digivolve one. Uh, of course, he needs uh, either Nokia or um, Memory Boost to not pass turn. But if it, if he can do that without passing turn, he then goes into Gaiamon to digivolve the digivolve again. And usually the Digivolve in 2 kills Oryuken because you have Door Grey and then the Egg on, underneath. Uh, that's pretty strong. He can kill Tamers, which is very strong against uh, Oryuken, of course. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I don't think there's a really like real bad matchup for Oryuken. Mm -hmm. Like w when I say that the deck can do well against Oryuken, it's like. Like, they have a way to win, but I think this this deck is too strong, very broken. Like, I try to play a different deck every tournament. I played Grandis last tournament, I played Oryuken this tournament, I will try to play Gaiamon next tournament. And I got the feeling that, man, this deck, I didn't want to play today, because I think it's a much better deck with Mulligan and Sideboard. Mm -hmm. But it was too strong. So yeah, when I say that Gaiumon has good ways of dealing with you, it just means that it's not impossible for him. But it's still a good matchup. So yeah, I won because uh, game one honestly bricked. He played Metal Greymon uh, like turn one, and there was nothing for him to do after that. Uh, second game was much closer, but I, I still managed to win. I don't remember. Too, ma too many of the details, but I already broke the matchup down. So, mm -hmm. uh, game two, yeah, the, the only thing I did was not play as many tamers or not play the like count the memory costs of the tamers in a way that Black War Game wouldn't get too much value and uh, pay attention of 
how much memory he has to know if he can go into uh, Metal Greymon, uh, into Gaiamon to attack your unsuspended DG. But even then, he really needs a lot of boosts to get to 16 or 17k. So yeah, pretty, pretty easy, honestly. Second game was much harder against Mastemon, which mm -hmm. I was surprised to play against. My girlfriend plays it. Uh, so I had a decent practice against the, the deck. Uh, it really comes down to Chaos Degrade in, in security, but even then you just play Congo, they can't Chaos Degrade you, which is insanely strong because Chaos Degrade was the removal card which could not be dodged. Mm -hmm. And Congo yes, gives you a way to dodge it, so... Uh, actually, I won thanks to Congo one game because he had uh, like three pieces on board and one in breeding. Mm -hmm. I check two with with the intention of winning next turn. I check uh, the new level four Meikomun, I think is the name. Mm -hmm. And all of all of a sudden he has lethal. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? But then I remember, oh right, Congo is broken. I, I just play Congo, push you to one. He can't do anything. He tries to uh, Magna Angemon onto Gatomon, and then uh, Jogress with another level five he had on board. From a previous Mastermon, uh, but th then I, I stop him while he's digivolving Master to tell him, uh, "My guy, you cannot recover. You know that, right?" Mm -hmm. And back the move, I let him. Uh, we saw that on the finals. You did Kong when he want to play his tower, and he can yeah, not yeah, heal. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way that he can do anything. It's pretty uh, good. I, I let him take back even the Magna, but. Even then, there's nothing you could do. So yeah, third round was against Armor Rush. Not much to say. Like, the matchup is insanely easy because you can de-digivolve Magnamon X. And Congo is very strong. Breath of the Gods can be strong against their Megadeths. Like, basically, the matchup is, do they have Megadeths in security? That's it. Like, the matchup is maybe the easiest. Then, uh, fourth round, I don't remember. It's the only round I don't remember. No worries. Uh, I think it was Imperial Dramon, but mm -hmm. I might be mistaken. But mm -hmm. it's v kind of close to what uh, Armor Rush is as a matchup. Yes. Uh, the Digivolve is not as strong, of course, but uh, I, f I feel like you commit way less to o OTK way more. And they have to two turn or three turns kill you, which gives you Tamers, which gives you the OTK usually. And. The last four games were all against uh, Mirror and the Reaper. Two, mm. two Mirrors and two the Reapers. What? Mirror, there's not too much to say. Without Mulligan, is mm, very dependent on whoever draws best. But I did have some sweet plays where I was able to... Uh, I played Oriumon as a Mega instead mm -hmm. of Alphamon to okay. prolong my indestructibility. Mm -hmm. on the stack which made them expose themselves first so when they oriukened they couldn't kill my stack i then oriuken and kill their stack and also with orimon i killed the little guy so mm, not not much they can do this is pretty smart yeah yeah orimon as a mega can be very strong people forget about it but orimon can be very strong as a mega and against the reaper is i feel like it's a pretty easy matchup honestly really depends on how fast you are because uh, obviously you're on a clock but even against the clock you can just dex to rugamon to protect you from reaper uh, if they go the poke route instead of reaper otk routes they give you tamers and memory boosts that's true so like, i feel like yes of course reaper can win but it's a good matchup like at least 55 to 45 or 60 to 40. So that, that was it for my matchups. I didn't run into Grandis Kuwagamon and Metal Garurumon, like, at all, which was insane to me. Like, Metal Garurumon is maybe the other best deck, in my opinion. But mm -hmm. I didn't get to play against it. Okay, thank you very much. Then we can go with the decklist. Of course. Uh, so those are my eggs. Uh, not, nothing to say about this. You never go to fifth egg, so there's no reason to heart your consistency with a fifth egg. Yes, sir. Then for the rookies. So I was playing this deck with nine rookies. 
in the beginning, mm -hmm. but this tournament was no mulligan, so I bumped it up. I went to Dormon, which is like mandatory. There's nothing to say about this. It's the best card uh, to build your stack onto. It's the best card to add to to your to your stack. Um, I don't usually use use this as a searcher if I can, because it only eats Kota. Uh, uh, like as an extra target mm -hmm. and I only play one okay uh, mm -hmm. actually so I usually play this guy as a searcher mm -hmm. he's useless for everything else honestly like I play him because he has excellent body traits that that's the reason yeah uh, he's also a good searcher and yeah he's the guy I'll play to search I mm -hmm. I was debating if I wanted to play three of this guy and play one more of this guy because there is diminishing returns, of course. If you keep searching, you take out all the targets in your deck. But I feel like this does not really count for Alphamon because your whole deck is X anybody. So mm -hmm. I yes. only play this when I'm specifically looking for a tamer, mm -hmm. which is not common because uh, unless you're like turn one or turn two. You don't, you don't, you don't have the memory to play a searcher and then a tamer. Like that's too slow of a play. Yeah. So I only play one of this guy. Could bump it up, bump it up to two, even to take one less of these guys. But I feel like two is a perfect number of chumons. Mm -hmm. This is insane for the mirror. Like everyone knows how good memory blockers are in Tour You can. Yeah. Uh, this is very good against Grandis as well, because you, first turn you hatch, play chumon, play tamers, plus turn. Promote Shumon, play more Tamers or a Searcher or a Memory Boost plus turn, and then build another stack with a Shumon on board, and they will feel uh, less motivated to Memory Boost, which actually hurts their deck. If they do Memory Boost, obviously it's a waste of two memory. Yes. So it's pretty good in all matchups, actually. You can choke people with this. I like to run two. Hurts the consistency just a little bit, because sometimes <laughs> you open without a rookie, but you have cool boy you cool boy and then find shaman you want to shoot yourself but that's i feel like it's very rare mm -hmm. with 11 rookies i can afford to play ch two chumons mm -hmm. when i was playing nine rookies i wouldn't play chumons then for the level fours i feel like there's not much to say about this honestly uh for the rugamon for dax the rugamons uh this is mandatory this is basically the only level 4 of the deck. This is a level 4.1. I feel mm -hmm. like you ever want to evolve into this. Specifically be specifically because this actually gives you plus 1 if you evolve into the Rugamon because it's a 0 cost and gain 1 when you discard. So it, you lose out a lot if you evolve into this. Not to mention that you have to discard to play the regular 2 memory. And you yeah. lose out on pool boy. Okay. So this is... Self-explanatory, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I could run one Grumblemon, Hybrid for Lethal. I don't think it's necessary. Like, this deck, if it high rolls so much that Hybrid would Lethal you, he can Lethal you with an extra Orimon to put yes, underneath. That's true. Or an extra little game. Like, the, the Hybrid, in my opinion, is such a waste of a slot. Then, level 5s. Uh, this is mandatory. Like, best card in the deck. Yeah. The Rugamon gives you so much flexibility to proc your Dorimons, proc your Dorimons, uh, to put Orimon underneath, an extra Dorimon underneath, uh, an extra Dorimon to gain two and still turn. Like, if you're at one, you have like this. And you play Dorugramon, put, put them to two, but then you put this underneath, go to zero. Like, this is too strong. Like, mm -hmm. this card, like. It, it actually gets limited uh, to one, which I can agree with if it's in BT9. In BT10, it does not need the limitation, but... Because we yeah. have a Transformers meta. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Then I play free Dexter Grey. This is your main way to... Um, to get rid of memory blockers, to discard cards... Uh, to put underneath with Alphamon and to get a second round of Cool Boy. So mm -hmm. what you want to do is like if you have this inbreeding, you go out, uh, play the other guy, 
Dexter Ruga, Brock Coolboy, going to Doru Greymon, indestructible, can't diminish my DP for the turn, for the and for the next turn as well, and then you don't Dexter Gray, even if you have a target, unless it's a really good target, mm -hmm. because next turn, which you will leave to next turn because you're indestructible, uh, you can Dex Doru and proc Coolboy again. Yeah. So I usually try not to to play instantly the Dexter Greymon, if I can. And the one-off of the superstar of the deck, Greymon. This guy, like, is insane. MVP, in the game. yeah. Yeah, like, you have to watch my first game of the finals against the Reaper. He popped the fuck off because he revealed free, found Orimon. I play Secret Alphamon from End, and this guy was just a destroyer, like attack, <laughs> yeah. gain memory, destroy one piece, untap, do it again. Tap, yeah, uh, so I, I, yeah. I think I also did tap Yuji to put another Orimon and destroy another piece. Yeah. I don't remember. You, you did, you did, you did. This guy was very strong, and he's also a fifth door level 5. Not a fifth door Greymon, but a fifth yes, level, level 5, five yeah. on which you can start the combo. Because I always feel like I have too little level 4s and level 5s that I can actually build with. Mm -hmm. okay, so the Dex uh, Digimons are like plus 1s. They're not real level 4s yeah. and level 5s. So this guy I really loved can also do plus 1 because it adds uh, Alphamon. Yes, true. Yeah. And he can do an insane combo with another card I'll showcase later. Uh, and then for the level 6s, I play 3 Alphamon. Three Orimon, three Oryuken. Mm -hmm. Now, I was playing four Orimons because I was also playing four Yuji's. So my logic was that uh, Orimon is a card that you want to have in both in end and in trash. Yes. So, like, having an higher number of them is good. And also, you can play multiple Orimons even in one turn to, to put underneath, of course. I mean, so I wanted four and four Yuji's, but I needed those slots for other cards. Uh, or you can three is a good, the right number in my opinion. If you play two, there's a real risk that you don't see him, and if you do see him, like with a searcher, you have to take it because if the if you have two and turn one a cool boy and find one, I have to take it because otherwise, if the second one is in security or bottom deck, it's GG. Like you, yeah. you don't win ever. Uh, free Alpha Mons. I was really debating until the last second if I wanted to play an extra rare Alpha Mon instead of the secret one. But the secret one did me really well sometimes in early game situations where I couldn't or wouldn't want to give it, uh, go into a Ryukan yet. Also is insane in security and it's like playing 3.5 Alpha Mons because you are more likely to see him because you also see him from security. So... A pretty good card. Like you can do three rare alpha months. It's fine if you don't want to spend the money even more. But I like the one-off secret. Mm -hmm. And then that's it for DGs. I play full cold boys. Like if you if you're not playing this, I've seen people play three of this. In my opinion, it's insane. Like this card is too good in every deck. In yeah. this deck, it's even better. Like you can search all cards. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, he, you you search every card. You can't uh, proc it with level freeze, yeah. which uh, Meth Melga and War Grey can do. But I mean, it's it's a fair trade if you think that they can only search four cards for every level, yeah, while true. you can search every card. Basically. Yeah. And then I play three Yuji's. As I said, was playing it at four. But three is more than fine. I've seen people run two, which is also fine in my opinion. Mm -hmm. If you run more quotas, because you really need a good number of tamers in this deck, because you usually just Dormon Durgamo in breeding and then play tamer, 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 memory boost, memory boost as much as you can to set up for the combo. And then I play one quota. My opinion is that memory setters are really bad in this meta. Like spending four memory is for a card that doesn't do anything if the opponent is able to uh, give you the correct amount of memory back is too much and too slow 
like against Grandis, for example, is a self condemn, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Uh, very good into the Reaper, of course, but I don't think you need more than one. Be also, because my opinion on this deck is that uh, you draw so much, you actually see the bottom of your deck many games. Yes. So, uh, playing one offs is really good because you do see them. Yes. Sir. Also, for example, it's my logic behind Chumon. Chumon is really good if you can play two mm -hmm. together, um, but that's a late game scenario. And for late game, I actually have both of them in my hands most of the times. Mm -hmm. Not every not every time, of course, but uh, usually when you want to see two cards together, like, for example, I always say Armor Spark, it's really strong if you have two together. Yeah. Like, of course, uh, so I always play minimum three when I play Armor Spark, which mm -hmm. I don't because I dislike blue, but whatever. <laughs> um, so you need to, to play at least three of a card that you want two of. But in yeah. this case, it's not true. My opinion. Uh, then for the options, I play two memory boosts. Standard, mm -hmm. inferior to cool boy, 99% scenarios. But it's like fifth and sixth cool boy. Yeah. The, 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 that's basically the take on, <laughs> on memory boosts. Uh, also helps me with running. Like I, I play a, a memory boost. And cool boys means I can get away with playing little Digimons of every, of, uh, every level. Then I play one off Congo and Breath of the Gods. Like, my theory, as I keep saying, is that you do see one offs in this deck. They're mostly late game cards. But, uh, so, so yeah, one off is good enough, in my opinion. I like the consistency more than the high roll scenario. Yes. Ongo was insane. Like, this card is tracked. Breath of the Gods was honestly useless. Like, I think I played this once. It's strong as hell, the security. Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't feel like it was good because I didn't get to play Metal Garurumon. Yeah, that's the only way to play this card was Metal. Yeah. yeah, but, like, do I really want to have this card in instead of an extra Congo, extra man boost, extra quota? I don't feel like. Uh, I might take this out of the deck even more if I do have sideboard because this deck with sideboard becomes insane because you can take both of them out, get more consistency, and then actually play three or four of the card that is really strong into one matchup. Security Control, Mastermon, uh, Commandramon, whatever. Yeah. And uh, this for every bounce or that. Actually, this is strong into Control decks too, but you, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. And for the last card... Everyone is flaming this card. My friends flame me because I play this card, but 2x anybody. Yeah. This card mm -hmm. won so many games. Because what you can do is, let's say you have Alphamon and a really big stack underneath, like many cards underneath, okay? You play X anybody, attack, go into Oryuken, and then you, you have already used every effect under the Oryuken. Like, True. if yeah. you have an Orimon, that at the end of the attack, you proc it, and then you proc the end of turn of Oryuken. So at you this can point, choose your effects, yeah. you can bottom deck Orimon as well. Yeah. So uh, that's the same for Dorumon. That's the same for, for basically every card, except for Dorugreymon. And this guy, if you want to pop another thing, but usually that's not the case. Yeah. But the, the insane combo of X antibody is that you can also uh, get rid of two memory blockers, which yeah. is like it's like Exodia for for that's you true. can. Right? If true. they play two memory blockers, it's very likely Free that you. Free food. Need. Yeah. But but you can do uh, like it's easy to get rid of one blocker, uh, memory blocker. With where, where are my level fives? Oh, here. Uh, with Doru Gray into Dex Doru Gray, you kill one. But what about the other one? When you go into Alphamon, you can bring back Greatmon, or you can put this underneath with Doru Greymon or with Yuji. With, yeah. There's many ways to put this to put this underneath. Then you play X and you, you can actually just attack, untap, mm -hmm. and kill the guy. But if you want to do it fancy and more proficient about obviously you need one more card in the combo you go into x anybody attack with or you can and tap with orumon uh, and destroy the memory blocker with greatmon and then 
activate or you can affect to gain memory back. So this is basically the only way to that I found to be effective to kill two memory blockers at the same time. And yeah, so th this also helps you with. This is very good with secret Alphamon because sometimes you can, like, let's say you you comboed, you got to zero memory. Uh, no, actually to one memory, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then you go into X on the body, which can also procs, uh, which can also proc Dormons, actually, so could give you memory. Yeah. And then you attack, uh, Digivolve mid evolution into Alphamon. G uh, you spend free, gain two back. And then you can Ryuken with an incredible surprise effect, which can take people off guard. Also, this card, as I said, uh, is a very easy plus one because you play four cool boys and mm -hmm. it happens decently frequently that uh, i had two with cool boys because i play this yeah uh, so yeah cool. i think yeah. that's it for the deck mm -hmm. not much else. ah and you can play these as i said to for example i had situations where i was breaking and i had like a, a level four out with dorumon and dorumon underneath I will just play this to gain one draw one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is that's good true. As well. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is pretty much it for the deck list. I was considering playing the Taxmon. Uh, I would have liked to have one, but I feel like it wouldn't have done too much for me today. Maybe it just depends on the day. I don't know. Mm. And every other card, I think I already mentioned. So, yeah, yeah. And combos and stuff like that. Pretty good. Do you want to make any shoutouts? Oh, oh, I I actually have a couple. Uh, Go for it. My first shoutout is to Emanuele Mingione, my great Italian friend, who you might know as the Four Zudamons Spicy Boy. From <gasps> no the way! Yes! My brother! Jeez! is my dear friend he's the best italian player along with mario morelli another great player yeah. they they helped me a lot growing as a player uh getting better they being my rivals like playing against them made me better their friendship and help with testing deck building made me better so i want to shout out for them uh shout out to them bank Another friend of mine, who you might know, is a really good player. Yeah, Dan Bang, my man. Yes, sir. Uh, he, we talk about deck lists, matchups, and stuff. We help each other out a lot with the Imperial Drama list. Mm -hmm. uh, because I had tournaments before he did in Europe. And who else? Uh, my friend Bruno, who is the... Ita Best and only, basically, Italian judge. He also helped me a lot. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shout out to all my friends who supported me, uh, flamed me for great Mon and Dex at the body. Now you can <laughs> shut up. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's it, man. Okay, perfect. Then, thank you very much. I hope I see you again on this channel and with your friends, maybe, sometimes. I hope to see and you I wish you... And not in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you best luck on the next tournament. Thank you so much. Good luck to you too. And come to Italy whenever to eat a pizza or play a tournament. Oh, of course, of course.